Hey guys, in this quick lesson, we look at the Shape Vector Selector in Anime Studio Pro 8. Another simple yet useful feature in Anime Studio Pro 8 is the Vector Shape Selector. What this allows you to do is select shapes on the stage without actually having to select the layer first. Now in the past, if you had a bunch of layers like I do in this project, some people can have hundreds of layers in any given project. What would usually happen is, let's say for instance that I want to select the pupils on this character. Well, with the layer selector tool, I would click that, but it wouldn't allow me to select those pupils because right now I'm on this layer, the Zach side layer. So what I would need to do then is then go into this layer then scroll all the way down, find the pupils and click them and then allow myself to edit them in that fashion. However, as I said, if you have a lot of different layers, this can be kind of a pain trying to locate the exact layer that that shape is on. Well, with this tool right here, the vector shape selector, what you can do is click that and simply then click on anything you want on the stage to select that layer even if they are in a bone grouping. So let's say I want to select this character's face. I click it and it'll automatically open up that layer and take me to that um, shape so I can edit it or do what I want. And this goes for anything. I could go back to those pupils now. I want to select the pupils. It opens that layer and brings up the pupils. So again, it's a really simple addition to Anime Studio, but it works similar to Flash. If you are a Flash user, basically you would have all your layers on the timeline and you could select the shapes of any of those layers at any given time. That could be a good or a bad thing depending on how you see it. However, now with Anime Studio, you now have the choice of either pretty much locking out all your layers or you can select the shapes of your layers and easily access them at any time you want. Anyway, this is a pretty short lesson, but I think it's a useful tool, so check it out. I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you next time.